In this video I'm going to show you something neat that you can do using ordinary diodes. It could be signal diodes or rectifier diodes or NPN transistors or PNPs. Now what you're looking at here are simple temperature sensing circuits. You can have one of the comparator inputs connected to a voltage divider and then you can use one of these on the other input. Now I'm going to show you two ways. One way is using ordinary diodes, in this case the 1N4007s. You could use a 4148s, the signal diodes. And then the other way I'll show you is using NPN transistors. You can use two of them in series or you can use two PNPs in series. You just have to reverse the connections if you're using PNP. Let me turn on the digital multimeter, show you what we have. All right, the voltage you're looking at, the 1.19, is coming off of the junction of the resistor and one of the diodes. Now, you don't have to use two diodes. You can use one. You can use three. Each one adds about 0.6 volts. So if I do just one, I'll move this over. You can see we're around 0.6. Let me go over here. Put it back around 1.2. You can also adjust this voltage using this 10K resistor feeding through these two diodes. What I'm going to do now is take my heat gun and apply heat to each one of these diodes. And what's going to happen, the N and P type material inside of each one of these diodes is going to be affected by the temperature. Now if I apply heat, what's going to happen, the voltage will start to drop. If I apply cold, the voltage will rise. So let me show you. You put the heat gun on. Aim it right there. And you can see it's not very, very hot that I'm burning my hand, but it's still hot enough to demonstrate how that is having an effect on the two diodes. All right. And now I'm going to turn it off. It'll go back up. This will work the same way, like I said, regardless of how many you use, one, two, three, or four. But it is really handy if you don't have a thermistor available and you're working on a comparator circuit, then you could take one of your inputs and use this, and then your other input could be a voltage divider. So this is a really useful thing that you can do if you do not have a thermistor laying around. So you can see we're back to 1.16. I'm going to take this block of ice and hold it right there and you can see it climbing now it has the opposite effect cold on the N and P junction inside the diode it's causing the voltage to climb let me take that away it will go back Now this will work very well for a lot of circuits, but of course if you're looking for something that's high precision, you wouldn't be using this. But all your other circuits that need some sort of a temperature sensor, you can easily get by using a setup just like this. Now I'm going to show you using the two transistors. Let me take this here, move it over to there. This is a little lower in voltage using the 10K. If I take out the 10K, all right, you can see we have a much higher voltage now. And it's the same as the diodes. Each one of these transistors is additive. So if you added another one, you would probably have around 2.5, 2.6 volts. So if you only have one, you'd have between 0.65 and 0.8. So let me remove this. Let me put this back. All right, so we're going to start off with the 1.018. Now, how this one's set up, I'm using NPNs. The positive rail goes through the resistor. The other side of the resistor connects to the base and collector of the transistor. The base and the collector of the NPN are tied together. The emitter goes to the other transistor, which has the base and collector also tied together as one. So this transistor has base and collector together tied into the emitter of the other one. The emitter on this transistor 
goes to the negative rail. If you're using PNPs, you're still going to connect the base and collectors together, but you're going to have the transistors flipped around so the emitter goes to the positive rail and then the collector and base goes to the negative. I'm going to apply heat now and show you how this is affected. Not really hot, my hand is there, but hot enough. Dropping nicely. And we'll keep going, but I'm just going to turn it off. Now it's going to go back up. So you would also take your sensing voltage off of the junction of the resistor and transistor. Very useful if you don't have a thermistor around and you have NPN transistors or many types of diodes, you can have your circuit completed if you had to do it. If you enjoyed this video, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my video playlist as well. Thank you for watching.